Good morning. Feeling a lot better today. Just going to do some uh, breakfast. I'm up here near Lake Tahoe again, right up on the ridges. It is, uh, it's really pretty up here, and I want to show you guys some more of the area. Um, but other than like the lake and snowboarding, which I can't afford, um, I'm not sure what else to do up here. So I'm going to want to take a wander around and figure it out. But for now, we're going to make some breakfast. too far under the snow. Forget about it. Can you come over here? Champ does this sometimes where he won't won't get back in the van. He's just too busy exploring. So you just gotta go, okay. Bye bye, champ. I'm leaving. Smell you later. Oh. Smell it. Oh what? Oh, now are you gonna bark at me? Nice. That's real real classy there, buddy. Smell you later. Were you gonna come or what? Come on. Get over here. Yeah, I guess you can come on board. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? No, yes, I know. I'm glad you're on board too, but maybe next time you can get on board when I ask.
He makes it look easy. Oh, it's not. I made it! Oh, oh, oh. I nearly died! How are you there to protect me? Stop barking at me! You're a bad dog! No, I don't mean that. You're a good dog. You're a good dog. Time for dinner. We're doing a little bit of a pasta situation. Now lately I've been trying to make my sauces like really big and my carbs a lot smaller because as much as I want to like down a triple portion of noodles, uh, it's not necessarily that good for you. And uh, you know, I've been a lot healthier over the last year, so I feel, uh, I feel it's done some good things. Anyway, sauce tonight. So onions, tomatoes, jalapenos, a boatload of mushrooms, a little bit of chicken in there, and then I put some uh, Brussels sprouts shredded up on top. That's gonna be like my green kind of like spinach replacement. Uh, I don't know what that's gonna taste like, but I'm looking forward to it. And then the sauce, this is great. It's called bottom of the barrel as far as I'm concerned. It's uh, what's left of my minced garlic mixed in with what was left of my grated Parmesan cheese, mixed in with a little bit of olive oil and mixed in with uh, some canned, Alfredo sauce, all of that shaken up and then added right towards the end. I'm gonna add the tomatoes, the jalapenos, and that sauce kind of at the same time. You don't wanna put the tomatoes or the jalapenos in too early because they um, give off a lot of their, their goodness in the form of steam. And in the jalapenos case, it burns your eyes and clogs up your uh, esophagus and that feels very not good. So we're gonna toss all that in last minute once the noodles are done and the rest of the stuff is done sauteing. Dine pre looks delicious. So yeah, I know, I pretty much failed miserably at not making this a triple portion, but... Mm. It's so good. After the thought little pro tip, if you're cooking anything Italian, especially like a pasta, alcohol, a little bit of wine, in my case, cheap beer, when the pan is still dry, I mean, uh, that's what I mean, like when stuff is like starting to stick to the bottom and it's too dry, it's not bubbling, it's like sizzling. You drop a little wine in there or a little beer or whatever, and it will instantly, the steam will just lift all those little flavor bits off the bottom of the pan and you just scrub around in it, you pull it all up, get way more flavor into it, and you get this light, almost citrus, but definitely more like vinegary, like light vinegary, kind of like, just kick to it. And then you don't have to salt it, it's quite good. Also, if you're dropping a little bit of alcohol in your pan and you do a little swirl and you got one of those uh, fire burners, you'll get the flames on top of your thing and Senpai will totally notice you, so. You can take that one to the bank. All right, good night, you guys. <laughs>